Hey guys, it's Adam from GHL Mastery. And if you're new to the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe even hit that bell icon because we've got a lot of great training content for those of you that are interested in the high level platform. And even those of you guys that are already using the high level platform. Now, if you're already using the high level platform, chances are you got high level through an affiliate and that affiliate gave you a bunch of snapshots and assets and funnels and websites and all of those types of things. In this video, we're going to show you how you can create your sub accounts using snapshots. So you can load a snapshot into a sub account, but we're also going to show you how you can create your own variations of snapshots and create those snapshots for yourself. So with that being said, guys, let's dive in to the video. All right, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about something that is both incredibly useful, but also super, super, super important. Okay, having used this platform for the better part of five years now, we've learned a lot of things to do and a lot of things not to do. So if you never listen to anything else I've ever said, I want you to listen to this one thing very, very carefully. In fact, so much so that I'm gonna not let you see my screen and I'm just gonna make myself huge because this is really, really important. Snapshots are a thing that you are likely going to get if you've signed up under an affiliate or you've purchased it from somebody else that really can kickstart your agency. So they're, they're awesome, they're great tools. But one thing that we have seen people make the massive mistake on a number of times is every single time they get a snapshot, they just go and they load it into one operational sub account. And then that operational sub account has 10 different configurations and systems and workflows and custom values, custom fields. It becomes an absolute nightmare of a mess. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to load in snapshots into your sub accounts, but I'm gonna make one very, very important distinction. When you get a new snapshot, this is more specifically if you're on the 297 or the 497 plans with high level. But when you get a new snapshot, I want you to create a brand new sub account for that snapshot, load it first, go into that sub account, find out what's in it. Because if you don't, you're gonna be surprised at how much of a mess you're gonna make for yourself. You can load snapshots and you can update snapshots anytime you want in a specific sub account. But one thing that you cannot do is you cannot delete a snapshot. Now this is as of November 15th, 2024. Hopefully one of these days they do make an adjustment to that, but it's very, very important that when you get a new snapshot, you load it into its own standalone sub account so that you can comb through it, see what's in it, understand how it works. Because trust me when I say this, we've seen it dozens and dozens of times where you just load it all into your one agency operational sub account because you think it's going to be awesome. But the reality is that not 90% of the time it just creates a big mess and you're not going to know where to look because there's no foldering structure there's no organizational structure and you're not going to have a clue what you just loaded into your sub account so if this is the first time that you're doing this don't worry about it just load the snapshot into your sub account and then go and look at it but the second you get a second snapshot that you're curious what you got create a new sub account first so that's all i'm going to say about that trust me you'll thank me later do not load multiple snapshots into the same sub account until you know exactly what is in them because you cannot delete them once they're installed. You will have to go item by item and delete everything one at a time. So I'm gonna leave it at that and now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So we already went through creating a sub account and when you hit this create sub account button from here, you can load in a snapshot. So with either the templates, which I do not recommend, you know, any snapshots that you've created, and I'm gonna get into how to create a snapshot in the next video, um, and then any imported snapshots. So this is gonna be any snapshots that you have already purchased. If you select any of these things, it will create that sub account with that snapshot. Okay, so that's the first way that you can do it, which we've already covered in the creating a sub account from scratch video. Now, if you've already created a sub account, like we did with our GHL Mastery Workshop sub account, there is still a way that you can now upload and load a snapshot into it. So we're gonna go into the actual account at the agency level, and we are going to click actions. And then from here, we're gonna hit load snapshot. Now we can come in here and we can load any snapshot that we have access to. And for some reason, high level is not loading mine, so give me one second. All right, it just took a few seconds, but now we got them loaded here. So these are all of our imported snapshots. And then if I scroll down, you can see we've got a bunch. Here's all of our own snapshots. So I'm gonna look at our Marcus AI snapshot because it's new and it's awesome and it works great. So we're gonna load in our Marcus snapshot right here and click proceed. 
When you do this, it's going to ask what assets do you want to load into this. So going back to my previous statements, if you know what's in it, you'll know what not to load. So th this is another reason why we recommend that you do that. So as of right now, this is a blank snapshot. There's nothing in there. So there's going to be no issues with me putting any of these things in here. But you can come in and select what you want to add and what you don't want to add. So you can actually look to see what's all in here. We've got all of these custom fields, um, custom values, and the and basically everything. Everything that runs this whole system exists inside this snapshot. So this gives you the ability to kind of look at, you know, what am I actually going to throw in here? What am I not going to throw in here? If it's the first time you've ever done this, just select all and hit proceed. Now it's going to check for conflicts. So this is only relevant if you have an existing snapshot. If you don't, there's going to be no conflicts and you're fine. But if you do, you're likely going to see conflicts. One of the conflicts that you will see almost 100% of the time if you're trying to load a different snapshot on top of another one is your missed call text back. So you can just skip or overwrite that. Now, let's talk about that. Skipping means that you're just not going to load the thing that is in the snapshot you're trying to load because it conflicts with something that already exists versus overwrite overwrite will replace what already exists with the updated version of it. So if you are ever, you know, let's say you download a snapshot into your system and then you go and you make some edits and you make it your own, you're going to create your own snapshot version and then you can load that into the existing or new sub accounts. And if you ever make adjustments and changes to things, you're going to be in an overwrite situation, right? You've changed a workflow or you've changed a funnel you can overwrite the funnels and it'll update with the new funnel update that you're pushing to all of your sub accounts for it. So in this case, there is no conflicts. So we're just going to hit proceed copying the data and we'll send you a notification once it's complete. Well, where do you get those notifications? This little bell icon right here is going to tell you when the snapshot load is completed. So it happens very, very quickly and it's already done. So we can now go switch to the sub account. And we can come in here and we can see that we've got opportunities. We've got a pipeline. We've got two pipelines in here, actually. And it looks like I already loaded this by accident. Um, so now I've got duplicates. So I did exactly what I told you not to do. Um, you'll have all of the automations in here as well. So again, I've duplicated a bunch of stuff, which that's my bad. Um, but now you can see why you don't do that. Um, you've got all of your settings, your custom values, your custom fields, and everything exists in here already. So there you go, guys. That is how to load a snapshot. Now I'm going to show you in the next video how to create one for yourself off of a sub account that you have inside the system. Now that you know how to load a snapshot, create a sub account, oftentimes what we teach inside the GHL Mastery VIP program is like, listen, a lot of these snapshots are not purpose built for your clients. And so what you might need to do is you might need to modify that snapshot so that it works for your industry or your niche and then reload that snapshot into your own snapshots, which we covered in one of the previous videos here. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to actually take a snapshot that you've previously loaded make a modification to it, and then create your own version of that snapshot. So right now I'm inside the snapshot that we created. I've got the AI loaded into here. Um, and now we can, let's just for the fun of it, let's go to pipelines and I'm just going to go and I'm going to modify this pipeline. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to change, I'm going to change this to missed call one, and then we can maybe add a stage and that's going to be missed call two. So let's move this up. And all I'm doing here is making a modification to the existing snapshot so that it makes sense. So we're going to go 001.2 missed call two, just for the fun of it. All I want to do is make a slight minor modification to this so that I have an excuse to actually go and create a snapshot from it. So now that I've got that done, what we're going to go is we're going to go to the agency view here and we're going to go into account snapshots right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create a snapshot and basically creating a snapshot. What it is, is it is creating a copy, a carbon copy of a sub account that exists inside your system. Now we always recommend that if you're going to create a snapshot, you create what's called an operational master account. And that account is literally just for snapshot operations and making updates, making changes. And then you're going to link that snapshot to all of your client accounts. What you can then do is you can take that snapshot, make an adjustment, a modification inside the snapshot, and you can push all of those updates to any connected account. 
So we're just going to do GHL mastery. And then we're going to select the sub account that we want to use. So it's z.ghl mastery masterclass demo. So you're just going to select the sub account that you want to make the snapshot from. So then we're just going to go next. This is then going to take all of the assets that are in this snapshot and create a copy of them all. So give this a little bit of time here and then you'll see a new one up here. So there you go guys, we have created a snapshot that we can now use to create sub accounts with. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing because what happens if you make another modification or another adjustment to that snapshot? I'm just gonna duplicate this page here. We're gonna go into that snapshot again. And let's just say we wanted to go into automations. We wanted to go into the communication start here and we wanted to add a different trigger. Um, so let's just say we add the trigger of a tag added. And this is gonna be universal across all of your client sub accounts. So we're gonna add the tag AI demo and we're gonna hit save. I'm gonna move my face out of the way. Now we've made another modification. Well, what do we do now? Because we already created the snapshot. Well, there's this really handy little feature where you can come into your snapshots here and you can do a refresh snapshot. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna pull all of the updates that you previously made on that snapshot. So we're just gonna go confirm um, and then we're gonna get this updated here. It's gonna be last updated on. Now, I highly recommend that when you do something like this, you name the rename the snapshot itself so that you actually know what dates were the most recent updates. And the way that you can do that is you're just gonna click this right here. We're gonna edit snapshot and we're just gonna change the name. So in this case, I would put November 18th, 2024 on there. And then if I go and I make a change in a week from now, I would actually just change that date as well. So that when you share this snapshot with people or you sell the snapshot, or you wanna push the updates to your client accounts, you know exactly when it was done based on the naming convention inside your own snapshots. So there you go, guys. That is how you can create a snapshot, which you can use to resell to other high level agencies. You can use it as a default snapshot or system for your clients. You can really use it for anything. As you can see, we have a whole awful lot of them and we, we absolutely love it. So there you go, guys. That is how you create snapshots in high level. Hey guys, I hope you found that video useful and helpful for you getting your company set up in high level and getting your white label started with the high level ecosystem. Now, if you're just starting out your journey in the high level ecosystem, or maybe you're even an intermediate um, or consider yourself an expert that just wants to know a little bit more about the high level platform and how you can leverage it, I would encourage you to go and click the link in the description below this video and hop into our GHL Mastery program. What do we do inside of our GHL Mastery program? Well, we have five calls every single day of the week, Monday through Friday for two hours a day, where we actually help you get into your system, help you build, help you troubleshoot, and just overall help elevate your overall skill set on the high level platform. So if you're interested in getting hands on every single day support plus a couple of bonus goodies, snapshots, AI systems, the like, then go ahead and click the link below to join our GHL Mastery VIP group. And I promise you, you will learn more in one month than you will in six months doing this on your own. We will see you in the next one. Take care.